guys, welcome back. Um, okay, so I am crazy, crazy, crazy busy right now. I'm trying to get myself ready for my holidays. Uh, my taxi is coming to get me at half past three in the morning. I'm still not even a little bit ready and my house is a disaster. But I'm going to stop anyway and I'm going to do a wee video for you before I go. I thought I would do a what's in my suitcase video. Alright, so here's my suitcase. Uh, okay, so I'm only going for a week, um, but so I thought that just like a wee small suitcase would be fine. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. Uh, but I have somehow managed to squeeze it in and I've had to put a couple of things in my hand luggage as well. But here, nevertheless, I got it done. It's in, it's sorted and I'm going to show you what I'm taking on my holidays with me. Okay. So let's start with the top sections. Alright, so in here, this one here, it's nothing exciting, just bras and some pants. Really not that exciting at all, just underwear. Fabulous. Alright, and just as soon as I get this back in here, I'm going to show you what else I'm taking. Okay, that's just my sad attempt to be funny, I'm sorry. Okay, so... And in this one, it's just straightforward, just your bubbles and Kirby's, nothing exciting. But if you're like me, or I think most women or people with long hair uh, need to take a lot of bubbles and Kirby's on holiday because I just can't stand the hair in my face because it sticks to me and no, it needs to be all the way back. So, taking them. And. I've got this for night time. I thought this would be a lovely wee night time bag. I went into my shopping centre today. Hold on, I'll come up and show you. I went into my shopping centre today to get my travel money. And while I was in there, I took a wee jump into Primark just to see what they had. And I saw this and I thought this would be nice for night time. You can see it's just a black bag and it's got all these lovely sequins on it. And... It was seven pound since I forgot to take the tag off. So got that. That would be nice for going out at night time. All right. And also in here I have some some lip balms. You remember I, I hauled these in my holiday haul, I think. So got them in there as well. Okay. Oh, for goodness sake going to roll with it, I'm rolling with it today. Okay, so next thing in my suit, just got stuff flying everywhere. Okay, so next thing in my suitcase is, uh, is actually this. It's one of those hair turbans that you use after your bath or sh your shower. And I don't know why I'm putting this on, but basically like that. Um, the reason I got this is because uh, my hair is freshly dyed and when my hair is freshly dyed every time I go for a bath or a shower my my hair dye bleeds and gets everywhere so I thought this would stop it from getting on like the hotel shower hotel showers hotel towels and sheets so got that thought that would be a good idea okay and got a couple of bikinis here Okay, so the first one is a bikini I've actually had for a wee while, but I really, really like it. And it's just this black and white striped bikini, like this. And if I hold it up a wee bit closer, you'll see it's got just kind of gold trim. So that's one bikini. Uh, second bikini, I believe I hauled in another video, and it's the one from Primark that's black, and it's got the kind of knitted bits at the edge. So, taking that. And third bikini is this one from Primark. And this was £6 for the top and £4 for the bottom, since I have clearly just not bothered to take the labels off. And it is this... And it is this black spotted one. And you can see... Why did I put the camera at this angle? And you can see the spots here, they're like kind of different sizes and they're white and gold. And I really, 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 really love this bikini. So taking that. Alright. I'll shove them back in just to save, save you on the video here. 
And here I also have a sarong. I absolutely love this sarong. Um, it's got, I've had it for a couple of years so I don't really remember where I got it. I think eBay but I'm honestly not 100% sure. It says made in China and it's got some Chinese writing. I'm guessing eBay. Uh, so yeah, got, and it's just lovely. It's got this kind of big leafy florally pattern on it and it's just gorgeous. And the thing about a sarong is you can wear it in like loads of different... Oh, this really is not a good camera angle, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so I know a lot of people kind of wear it like this, but I like to wear it more like... If you wrap it around the front and then... I'm not doing a very good job showing you this. And then pull it up and tie it around here. So it's more like a wee dress. I like that. It's far more flattering and it covers covers all your, your bits. So I love this. Love my sarong. So taking a vat. This here is just a giant ass bag of toiletries. Uh, again, I'm only going for a week so I don't know why I thought I needed so many. But here we go. And remember, Taylor has some too. Uh, so I've got here some antiseptic cream because I'm very, very, very prone to standing on bits of broken glass and all sorts of stuff like that when I'm on holiday. So you need the antiseptic cream and this is Dettol one. And I think it was like 120 something from Home Bargains. Got my sponge for washing and exfoliating. Got my after sun. My Hawaiian Tropic After Sun in Exotic Coconut. And this is just... Oh. I am excited to go on holiday if for no other reason than to wear the sun cream. It smells so, so good. Uh, you probably remember when I hauled it in my holiday haul and... Oh, just yum. I just, I can't, I, I can't say, just buy this if you're going on holiday, please. Or even if you're not, if you just want to use it. At least smell it. So yeah, taking the sun cream. And I got my beloved Superdrug Deep Pore Cleansing Pad to get rid of all the gunk out of my face. And I got some shampoo and conditioner. And this is Argan and I want to say Marula, but I'm really not sure how you would pronounce that. But it's lovely and it just it looks really summery. It's that lovely kind of turquoise blue colour and it actually it smells oh it just smells lovely, it smells very holiday, very fresh. So I got that and I'll use that on my holidays. Alright, and the next thing in my toiletries bag is just some facial cleansing wipes to take off makeup from the day before. Okay, and this is in, uh, it just says with, e ex with extracts of cucumber. So we've got two packets of those. Alright, and I've got some, some hairspray, some deodorant, and mouthwash. I think Taylor has toothpaste, I think. I don't know. We weren't, we weren't very good at communicating. And I uh, also got the original source mint and tea tree body wash. Did anyone see that thing that was going about on Facebook? It went pretty viral about the woman who was washing her her intimate bits with this. Oh, I thought that I would, if I can find it, I'll put a link to it in the video below. It was it was just it was so funny. Uh, so I've got this anyway. Okay, and of course. Some sun cream. Can't say no to the sun. Well, you need the sun cream. So, ugh, why did I think that that angle would be good? Alright. And I've got some painkillers for various types of aches and pains, and probably including some hangovers. Um, got me a toothbrush, a wee travel toothbrush. I love this thing. Uh, I think I mentioned before I've got a red one of these that I take with me to sleepover shifts. So I've got that and I love that it just clips in there and it's not getting dirty or gross. 
my wee summery perfume here that I got from clearly got from Primark for two pounds and it's mango passion and yeah very fruity very summery just smells like your holidays and also just got a wee bunch of cotton buds here to use for a few makeup errors and stuff like that so that's the toiletries I'll just stick them there fix them after the video all right so in here i don't as a general rule of thumb i don't really wear a lot of jewelry on holiday but i have got a couple of things uh, i've got okay okay this is stuck so i can't take it out and show you but in here i've got my my snake bracelet and i call my snake can you see the hair it's a bracelet anyway, it's kind of silvery, it's got these kind of stones and it's a, it's a snake head somewhere if it would... There we go, there you are. Okay, and I call her... What the hell did I call her? She had a name for a while, she's nameless now. And just a couple of chokers and a couple of rings. I really don't wear a lot of jewellery on holiday because it's just too hot, cannot deal with that. Okay, and also just kind of floating about in the randomness of the suitcase. Got some tissues, because tissues are always handy to have. And got some plasters, because as I said, I am horribly prone to standing on bits of broken glass and stuff like that when I'm on holiday, so always need the plasters. Okay. And in here, I'm not going to take this all out and show you, just because we'll be here forever. And here is my my makeup. It looks like a lot, but it's really, really not. I had to put a couple of bronzers in there uh, because obviously I'm hoping my skin tone will change while I'm away. And uh, you know, gonna need to bronze bronze up because my foundation is still incredibly pale. So there we go. Also, just in the randomness of the suitcase, got a wee purse for sticking my money in. And got some handy wipes, because handy wipes are just always a very handy thing to have. So, got them. And got, so got these to just wear by the pool. I got them from Primark, I think they were about £4. And they're just, they're kind of plasticky, rubbery type material. And they are not very attractive, but let me tell you, they are so, so comfortable. And uh, just, just to kind of wear by the pool. I don't need to look fancy at the pool. Who am I trying to impress? So, got them. Uh, oh. oh, a pair of my flip-flops is missing. I will show you that at the end. Obviously, I've forgotten to pack it. And also, I got just a wee kit here. Uh, it was called a manicure kit, but there is tweezers in it. Do people use tweezers for manicures? I don't know. But it's got a nail file, and it's got some nail scissors, nail clippers, and... One of these wee things. Like that. These are always really handy to have on holiday. So, I got that. And I've taken that with me. Okay. And literally the only nighttime shoes that I plan on taking are black flats from Primark. And I believe these were about £4. I used to, years and years ago, I used to take like heels and I used to used to be that girl. I am not that girl anymore. No, mm -mm, can't do it. The flat shoes, that is all I need in my life. And also in here, don't know why it's in my shoe. I've got a wee fan. I've not put batteries in it yet, but I've got a wee fan. And attached to it is a wee bottle of water which you just, you can squirt and it just keeps you nice and cool throughout the day. So, yep, yeah, taking that. And again, some dry shampoo, very, very exciting. Okay, so on to kind of clothing wise. Um, I had these grand plans to like put lovely outfits together and be glorious, but it didn't come together. So I basically just got a bunch of shorts and trousers and t-shirts and flung them in and I'll just have to hope for the best at this point. Okay, uh, so first thing I've got here is just my blue linen trousers. 
These are good for night or day, but I'll probably wear them at night. But good for daytime too if I decide to. So got these. And also got Okay, this was ironed. Okay, this will need to be re-ironed. It was ironed at one point. Uh, my yellow top uh, with the kind of crisscrossy design here at the front. So got that. And this one here is just the same as the yellow top, but it's in white. And got a whole bunch of S tops here. Okay, so so it's just, they're all just best tops like this. I'm very, very simple on holiday. I really I don't need to get myself all dolled up and fancy as long as I'm comfy. So stretchy best top. And this one here's got the kind of it's grey and it's got the kind of triangly design. And this one, oh these are leggings, just wee short cropped ones. Because I've got a kind of t-shirty dress in here that eh, I really didn't know if I wanted to wear without leggings. And got this one here. This one's not a stretchy vest top, it's just a normal one. And it's white and it's got black elephants on it. And these ones are okay. Black stretchy vest top. Very, very exciting. Okay, and these ones here, so much for me having all this colour in my suitcase. <laughs> Everything's black. We all knew it would be. Okay, so this one here is slightly fancier, it's definitely a bit more dressy, but again it is black and it has a vest top, uh, like this, and it is, it's quite, you can't, it's quite low, so, and at the back it's just like that, and it's got this kind of, can't really show you it very well, I'm doing a really bad job of this video, I'm sorry, you can kind of see it here, it kind of wraps over here at the front, and it just, covers the belly area, you know, if you're feeling a bit self-conscious of the of the tummy. I love a good wrap top. It's very flattering. And this one here, which is probably the opposite of extremely flattering, is a bodysuit. And it's got cold shoulder sleeves. Like that. So, and it's extremely form-fitting, so It'll need to be worn at the start of my holiday before I expand for dress sizes. Well, I'm not doing a good job of this video, I'm terribly sorry. Okay, so, where are we? Okay, I've been here for quite a while, so we'll pick it up. Uh, okay, so got these black shorts here, which I think I'll hold for you in another video. Like that, it's got the kind of lace bit at the front. So, I have those. And I have these black shorts here with the white palm trees on it. I actually got these in Primark last year on sale for £2. So I was so happy with that. And just a pair of plain, quite stretchy denim shorts. Again, probably from Primark. Yeah, from Primark. So have those. And some slightly shorter shorts. Uh, I think I should do these in a charity shop haul. And they've got the kind of black crosses on it. So I have those. Hopefully I'll be able to fling some outfits together or I'll be stuck. Uh, I also have, now this used to be my mum's and she donated it to me last year and I never actually wore it but I thought I would take it this year because I've been on the hunt for a maxi dress and just couldn't find one. So it's this it's a big massive ma massive maxi dress and if i come up and show you it's got this kind of pink and it's got the goldy kind of chains and the gold leaf designs on it like that and the wee butterflies and it is a one-shouldered dress and again has this wrap detail at the front very flattering very flattering for the belly so i love this oh and it's got Got these wee birds on it as well. I just, I just really, I love this dress so much. So I'm going to wear it. It's a wee bit big here, but I can just pin that. I'm not fussy. Don't care. And I've got my beloved black trousers that I showed you in my holiday haul. Oh, I'm so, I can't wait to wear these. I was actually thinking about wearing them to the airport, but then I was like, no. Because they'll not be in any of my holiday pictures. They need to be in my holiday pictures, so... 
in the suitcase and instead I'm wearing clown trousers to the airport. Okay, and this is my t-shirt dress and I really love this. I know it's not particularly holiday but I don't care, I love it. It's black and white and it's quite bouncy and it's got So yep, I'm in the big skull and oh, I absolutely love this. I had to have it. So taking a vat. Okay. And I don't think I might have put too much in. And I've got this vest top here. It is incredibly sheer. It's quite see-through, as you can see. But it's like luminous, luminous. It's a kind of pinky orange colour. Don't know if that's coming off on camera very well, but I've got a vat with me. And also got my big white linen shirt that I showed you. So taking a vat. Uh, got my phone charger, obviously. My Kindle is currently on charge. Obviously you have to take your travel adapters. And in here I've got straighteners and curling tongs and I believe Taylor has the hair dryer. If not, I've got a hair dryer and she can stick in her suitcase. So got that. And of course, new jammies. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, I got some new jammies for my holiday. Shorts and t-shirt, obviously none of this big trousery stuff. And look, I just love these. They're, they're grey and they've got the eyes on them, like the open and the closed eyes. And the top that goes with that is pink and white stripes. And it says, rise and sparkle. So I've got my shorts and t-shirt pyjamas. And this one here, same idea, shorts with avocados on it. And if you look at the avocados, they've got a wee face. <laughs> and the top that goes with that says let's avocado <laughs> so yeah I love these jammies I'm so I'm taking them so that's everything in the actual suitcase that I packed so carefully and is now around me in the hand luggage I have got a travel pillow no I'm not an old lady travel pillows are the best things ever don't care. I took one on holiday last year and see when, not even just for on the plane, but see when you're lying like on your, like your sunbed, sunbed Morgan, how'd you forget sunbed? Um, see, anyway, when you're lying in your sunbed, you can lie on it there and then you're not with your head on the hard plastic. Great plan. I love whoever invented travel pillows. So taking my travel pillow. And I'm taking my, these are just headphones, nothing exciting, just normal headphones because I can't take my Bluetooth ones because I can't use them on the plane because uh, obviously they're electronic. And I've got a sundress just for roaming about during the day. And this thing is massive, but I love it like that. So it's blue and it's got the kind of checked pattern on it and it's not completely square you can cinch it in the middle like that so I love this thing it's just so good because it's so massive like during the day when you're obviously walking about in your bikini and that's when you're at your most like self-conscious love this thing love it okay and also got a purse very exciting and got there's a couple more wee sundresses. Uh, this one here, it is navy. I think this one's actually a play suit. Yeah, this one is a play suit. So navy play suit. Say play suit one more time, Morgan. So <laughs> navy play suit and it, okay. oh, it's all going wrong. There we go. All right. So yeah, navy. <laughs> And it's got this uh, kind of tie bit here, just, just for design. It's not actually needed to hold it up. It's just there to make it look pretty. So taking that. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. And I've got a navy and white, just very, very 
small striped one and it's got this banded waist in the middle. It's so flattering. Uh, I think I showed in my holiday haul, my last one, um, that I bought a lovely kind of electric -y blue one. I melted it. I, um, I didn't check the care material properly and I tried to iron it and it melted. So I don't have that anymore. I've got my green, I've got my navy and white striped one, so yay! And I think we're almost there. Yeah, one more thing. A beach towel, because you need to take a beach towel on holiday. It's the law. And mine is the wrong way around. It's the Little Mermaid. Obviously it comes down again, but... So yeah, I love Little Mermaid, I love Disney, Disney is great, I absolutely live for Disney. So yeah, so that's what I'm taking on my holiday, it was quite a long drawn out video just to show you that, but I didn't want to leave you hanging for another week, um, so I, I, I am going to try and vlog it a wee bit on holiday, but I really, I don't know if I've got the guts to do that, but I will try, and um, so... Yeah, so I'll try and vlog on holiday, but if I don't, I promise, promise, promise I will have some sort of video for you um, when I come back. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.